Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and showing you some swatches of the brand new Colourpop Pressed Powder Face Highlighters which came out quite recently um, on Colourpop's website. They cost $8 each which is very affordable and they have done highlighters in the past but they are of a different type of quality. They're called Super Shock Cheek Highlighters so they're very kind of putty like and very squidgy. I'm not really a big fan of that whole cheek kind of range. For me I'm very much the classic powder kind of gal. I really like my powder products. I've picked up five of them and I got them quite recently. I really like the package it comes in this very sturdy white plastic case with really cute little stars all over it and then you open up the inside and you've got a nice mirror as well as the product itself inside. Now the slight annoying thing about these uh, were just for me personally, it may not annoy other people, I like to know the names of products when I buy them and um, I apologise for that sound, that's my niece. I'm in the garage nowadays, nothing I can do, it's a very hot day, as you can see this is sweat, this isn't even necessarily highlight, it's highlight mixed with sweat, so everybody's in the garden and the door's open and I'm sweating in here but I've got no choice so I apologise, I'll try and talk over her. <laughs> so uh, as I was saying, these are brand new press powder highlighters, I picked up five of them, the annoying thing for me was that the names of them were actually stuck to the box that it came in and not to the actual product itself so I had to peel them off of the box and place them onto the actual packaging I know that some people may be like well what's the point what do you care about the name I'm just very anal I need to know the name of stuff especially um, if you follow me on Instagram I will link my tag right here Charlena you'll see I do face of the days often I share all the products that I use on my face and in order to know what I'm wearing this comes in handy now in terms of the qualities of these they all seem to be slightly different now I do have to compare them to the other highlighting palette which is called gimme more I think it was a palette of six I wasn't really happy with the quality of that. I found it quite gritty and quite difficult to pick up on a fluffy brush in particular. Um, however, I also, when I placed this order, I also picked up this brush. Now, please excuse me that it's dirty. I literally just, it was clean like an hour ago and I just used it to put my highlighter on. What I found is that this brush is quite, not stiff, but it's very much like a mohawk. So it's not fluffy at all. And what happens is that makes it very easy to pick up the product with this brush in particular, as well as other brushes that are um, similar to this. If you got a fluffy brush, it won't really pick up as well. And what I found was that when I did kind of brush it over the top, you can see that it picks up a lot better. If I do it like this, then you can see how much of the fallout comes out as well and then you are much more easily able to apply it to your skin and you get the full effect of the actual highlighter itself as you have seen right there. I already have lipstick swatched on my hands so I've kind of gone over it but you can see the overall effect. Now if you were to use other brushes which are more softer it would pick up a lot more with a lot more difficulty so that's just something to bear in mind with these highlighters and I do have to say that some are a little bit more gritty than others. The one that I actually just showed you, which was called Go Honey, is actually quite soft and buttery. So I am gonna show you all the ones that I got. Like I said, I picked up five and give you my thoughts of those five. Overall, I'm quite happy with these. I think I'd give them about a seven out of 10. I don't find them to be overly glittery. There's a little bit of glitter in some of them, but not too much. They definitely have that kind of glow from within. As you can see, I'm actually wearing two highlighters from uh, the ones that I'm gonna show you today, which I will mention so that you guys know. Um, it does give a very strong highlight as well. There is loads and loads of colors. I picked up five out of a big bunch of them. They're affordable, they're eight pounds, and generally ColourPop is quite a good brand for quite a lot of products. So I'm not too unhappy with these. I do have to say that I've got all of the face powder duos, which is a blush and a highlighter, and I found the quality of those to be different and better than these ones. Not that these ones are dreadful, it's just that those ones are a lot better. But just as I was about to show you guys the highlighters, I realized that they were all labeled incorrectly. So this is the whole Thing that really annoys me about Colourpop and I've mentioned that in previous videos about their slapdash not really caring so much about how they label their products how they put them in the wrong boxes I've received things which are ultra matte lips but they're in ultra glossy lips I know to some people that's not that such a big deal but to someone like me it is I'm a customer and I expect everything to be a hundred percent now as I was about to film 
or continue doing my review for you guys, I noticed I would have been saying this is this, but in fact it was actually something else. It's because they labeled it incorrectly and I would have been giving you incorrect information. So I've tried to do it the best I can from using their website, but I do apologize if I uh, give the wrong name that would be down to them and their poor labeling so this first one here is the one I showed you earlier it's called ruffle my feathers and this as you can see over my stained hands is a gorgeous yellow gold shade this would look amazing on all skin tones but in particular medium and deep and this next shade is called here kitty kitty and this is a beautifully textured buttery textured warm ivory shade this shade is called a boy next door and this one is a light gold and this one I would definitely say is one of the ones which is a bit more textured, a little bit more bits and pieces and more difficult to apply. But I love the colour. This shade is called Go Honey. This shade is probably one of the worst performing ones. I even applied two swatches and it is a bubblegum pink colour but it's quite sheer. This is one of the ones where you'll definitely have to build it up with the fan type brush that I showed you earlier. This shade is called Total Package. And this one is a beautiful buttery soft rose gold shade. So that's it. As you can see for the highlighters for yourselves, how intense some of them are. Some are not so much. Some are better quality than others. Obviously, there are other ones which I've not tried, so I can't comment on those ones. But the ones that I wore on my face today was a total package. And I mixed it with this one called a boy next door. So it was the golden one, which was in the middle. So two fairly intense shades, little bit bits and pieces, but still easy to apply and to get an amazing highlight as you guys can see. So again, I would give these about a seven out of 10. I do think that ColourPop can do better because they have done better in the past. I really prefer the kind of buttery consistency because it gives a really nice luminous glow. Um, one or two of them are slightly glittery, but not so much. They're more of a very intense shine, a metallic shine, rather than glittery particles, for example, like Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. So that's it. What else can I say? On my lips, I'm actually wearing a brand new ColourPop lipstick, which is called Sizzle. I love, 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 love this. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.